Welcome to our lecture online and here is a very interesting example of how to solve trigonometric functions. At first when I looked at this I go, wow, how do, where do we even start? How do you solve a problem like this? And sometimes you just have to kick back, sit back, look at it for a while and see if something looks common, something looks interesting. I looked at the right side and I saw 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta. Here I see 2 times the sine of theta. I go, wait a minute, I have a minus and all of a sudden I realized here that if I factor out the tangent of theta on the left side, I ended up with something that looks very similar to that. I go, that's probably the key of how to do that. So I was going to then factor out the tangent of theta. And sometimes also, even if you don't see that, factoring quite often gets you to the right direction. So tangent of theta times 2 times the sine of theta minus 1 equals 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta. All right, well, it's not exactly the same. You can see that uh, if you multiply um, this by negative 1 and this by negative 1, you can move that around. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a negative in front of here, the tangent of theta. Of course, if I multiply this by negative 1, I have to do it again by switching these around. 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta equals 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta. So now I can go ahead and divide both sides by 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta. So minus the tangent of theta is equal to 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta divided by 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta. Of course, that's equal to 1. So minus the tangent of theta is equal to 1 or the tangent of theta, oop, theta is equal to minus 1. Okay, now we have our answer very close here. If we graph out the tangent of theta, it looks like that. And of course, we have the limits on one side, pi over 2. On the other side, negative pi over 2. I'm looking for the angle in such a way that the tangent of the angle is negative 1. So negative 1 would be right here, negative 1, come over here. So it would be an angle between 0 and negative pi over 2, or 0 and minus 90 degrees. Then I remember that the tangent of theta, the definition, the tangent of theta is equal to the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta, which means that the sine and the cosine is equal, is equal to each other when the tangent is equal to 1. That happens at 45 degrees, so therefore I can say that theta is equal to 45 degrees, but since we're looking for negative 1, it's minus 45 degrees, which is equal to minus pi over 4. So that then becomes the answer to this problem. So at first you take a look at it and go, wow, where do I even start? If you're not sure, factor something out. But if you look at it in a clever way, you realize, ah, I have a 1 minus 2 times the sine of theta. And something looks almost like it if I factor out the tangent. Flip it around by getting the negative over here. And then you divide both sides by that. And then at that point, it becomes an easy problem. That's how we do that.